Uh, hey guys, how's it going? I hope that you're having a great Thursday. Okay, so today is all about visualization. How do you visualize? You know, visualize these steps to get there and picture it all in vivid detail. I have been doing this for quite a while and actually recently I've started it again. And uh, this morning I tried it again and my day is going quite well, which is the way I visualized. Well, of course, you know, things may happen, this and that, but you make peace with it. Well, I have a lot of videos in the past about make, how to make peace with little, little, tiny, tiny things. Check it out and I hope you like it. Enjoy and chill. Have a great Thursday. I know. I've been listening to your stuff and you talk about we have a vibrational escrow account where the things we desire are stored. In a vibrational version that you've got to translate into reality through your attention to it, by your practice of it, okay. by your realization of it. It's been revealed. You got to realize it. So in the space of wanting to get in the vibration, feeling it now, but also noticing the absence of it, what I've been doing is Imagine myself flying out of my body and going to a time in the future when the thing, the desire, the accomplishment has been realized and then bringing in that vibrational energy from that moment. Good process. Into the now. Yeah. We can see how that could work for you if you're able to go there. And because what you're doing, you're bridging the fact that your now eyes can't see it by moving into future eyes by moving into a future experience, by donning a future experience. That's a good process. And then bringing in those energies into the moment and it, you talk about the 68 seconds. Because it doesn't matter whether you are focused upon the past or the present or the future, you're doing it now. So as you are envisioning something that you want, you are activating it in your now, which is now bringing it to your now. But the question is, and it's what we've been dancing around with here today, is as long as that visualization is not making you say, wait a minute, it's not here. In other words, if the visualization is strong enough, then that balance will tip on the fulcrum. It will. So bringing those energies in the moment and then bringing it in now, it creates like this sweet spot for me vibrationally. See, we want to say something to you that by the time you're doing that, what's happened is you've already achieved close enough proximity to your vortex that you're already beginning to translate it. That is what's happening. You're actually peering into your vortex and seeing what's there because the first stages of turning those vibrations to thoughts and those thoughts to things is that imagery is that imagination or when it happens in your dream state, it is the same thing too. So once you're doing that consistently, you are on the verge of full manifestation. So the next step would be consistency between the steps. And the consistency comes with the enjoying it. I'm enjoying the pleasure of these thoughts rather than I'm doing this to make something happen. Because when you're doing it to make it happen, what hasn't happened gets a little foothold. If you're doing it for the pleasure, then there's no resistance. There's no downside to that. So that's where imagery comes in just for the pleasure sitting and contemplating pleasurable thoughts is the most productive thing that you could do. You. So much so that we're encouraging you to do 20% less, do 30% less, do 40% less, <laughs> do half of what you're usually doing. Do 60% less. Do 70% of what you usually do and contemplate 70% more than you usually do and watch how it flips. Reality will get you. What is? All that action and all that reality is the basis of the resistance that you keep throwing on your trail. Now we know you're arguing for your limitations. We will call each of your employers and explain. <laughs> You're going to find them a lot less active in the days coming up, but way more productive. They're going to be less active and way happier. And your employer might say, I don't really care so much about their happiness. I care mostly about their productivity 
and we say we promise you if you will encourage happiness productivity will ensue yeah so in my life I've been experiencing these like yo-yo effects of feeling great feeling the rockets of desires and then sometimes the thoughts behind the thoughts have been like heat-seeking missiles blowing up the desires here's the thing <laughs> that's clever and not accurate okay because if you catch them in the earlier subtle stages they don't gain momentum that roller coaster is thinking about what you want and thinking about the absence of it and thinking about what you want and thinking about the absence of it and so you're getting momentum on both fronts going and that's why then suddenly it feels like there's a heat seeking missile but it's not like that at all go general on the things that are uncomfortable and get more specific on the things that feel good that was your encouragement as you began speaking to us that's what that visualization is about so do you ever find yourself visualizing what you don't want do you find yourself acknowledging it and talking about it and thinking about it because you can do that you can get momentum going toward what you want or toward what you don't want but you're doing all of it sometimes people say sort of what you just said it just seemed to come out of the blue and we say it comes out of the oblivious because while it was coming it was coming and there was clear guidance letting you know it was coming you just were willing to put up with it before it got really really strong so you just want to be more picky about how you feel not willing to endure the emotional consequence of split energy it is not uncommon for a deliberate creator like yourself who has the ability to focus in very powerful ways it's not uncommon for you to have an experience like you described because you are a powerful focuser so when you use your power to focus and concentrate on wanted you get a lot of momentum going fast and when you use it to focus on unwanted you get a lot of momentum going fast and that's why it's that roller coaster but that's all right because as long as you understand what it is it doesn't matter does it as long as you know that the universe has your back as long as you know that you get what you think about as long as you know what your guidance system is as long as you know there is a vortex version and you spend more time looking for the feeling of that then it doesn't matter Esther spent several days at Disneyland with kids and grandkids and other kids and other grandkids and she was on more roller coasters in those days than she's been on in her whole life it was amazing up and down and at first she thought I have lost my mind <laughs> what am I doing and then she thought I'll feign sickness and they won't make me do it again <laughs> and then she thought and then she thought I'll just go and then she thought I'll just go again and then she thought I'll just go again and after a while she started to really like it because she got used to the ups and downs we are not encouraging you to get used to the ups and downs Good. in other words don't get used to that roller coaster ride because it isn't necessary and it slows the game it slows it down something more no really good thank you